everyone welcome back to my channel if you're new here welcome in today's video i'm going to continue the series of business casual dress code for women office outfit workwear corporate outfit what to wear for work smart casual all that good stuff and probably more words as well because it is one of the things that have just about as many names as there are outfit possibilities if you are a little bit uh, want to know a lot more about what the dresses is looking like in this category of classical outfits then please go watch the video that i uploaded for a while ago and i also uploaded one about trousers so if that is your dress style or you really like to know more about that i will link the videos down in the description box below so that you can go watch those ones after this one if you're not done so already please subscribe to the channel also please like share save and follow for more let me know in the comments down below if there's anything that you would like me to elaborate on or if you have any ideas for future videos thank you very much the first outfit of today is a leather skirt and then a pinstriped silk shirt and then a little bit of an elastical belt and my very classical shoes here let me show you a close-up of them not high very classic the thing about this casual styling is that it's all very neutral colored white beige black gray brown a little bit of green and a little bit of rosé or pink ish but not like an awful lot and that is really very uh, much the style that we last year referred to as old money or quiet luxury or whatever. But it is actually what all of us who have gone on the corporate ladder have been wearing for work for years. It does look very professional and it is also very minimalistic if you invest in good pieces. And one of the things about investing in skirts is that they are some of the most versatile, versatile pieces of outfit because you can wear them with any skirt or shirt or a white tee or uh, in this case it's a silk shirt but you could also wear a sweaters, you could wear a vest or you could wear a knitted blouse or uh, anything that you want to wear on top of the basis is totally possible once you are only wearing a skirt because a skirt can carry all of it and you can style it up in so many ways so it's really just the imagination the set borders the same thing comes to kind of trousers so if you are on a budget um, skirts and trousers is the way to go and then fewer dresses simply because you can't you can make more outfits out of a pair of uh, trousers or a skirt than you can with a dress one of the attention to details that you have to give to when you are wearing uh, so boring clothes as the classical as the casual styling is the textiles you're wearing I'm talking more about that in the trousers video that I have linked down below. This is, however, outfit number one. And uh, let's just get the video moving on to the next outfit. Second outfit is a plain uh, linen shirt and a skirt that has a little bit, it's a pencil skirt and it's just regular pencil skirt except for the fact that I have a little bit of sway in it down here in the button and that's really all the interesting stuff there is about this skirt and I kept the same shoes and, and jewelry on so another 
classical outfit. So one of the ways that you can dress this up for nighttime if you were to let's say go out with your colleagues or something like that or meet up with your friends after night time is just changing one thing and that's the shoes if you were to change the shoes into maybe a pair of metallic shoes and or a pair of uh, kitten heel sandals well you could of course also change your back from an ordinary boring office back I always use this one for the office into a more festive bag of some sort you could also change your shirt of course into maybe a metallic shirt or something like that something that's very easy for you to bring to the office and have in your bag if it is that you're going directly from work to whatever it is you're going to afterward final outfit for this video is a shirt but not a plain shirt it has a lot of decorations on the sleeve here as well as up on the arm and all the way around the collar bone here uh, and all the way up the neck and because it have this decoration in the neck i have buttoned it all the way up or i think it looks a little bit well not as good as i does like this <laughs> it looks like this anyway I have a belt on and that is in order to show my waist because that does make me less bulky than um, if I was not marking my waist altogether. What is a kind of general thing is that if you think that you are a little bit too big, have a little too much on the front or the side or whatever and not uh, and you want to hide it. I completely understand that. I feel like that as well But uh, there are ways to do it, but just putting on a lot of real bulky stuff is not really helping a lot It actually unfortunately most often makes you look Look a little bit bigger than you actually are if you want the video on that topic, please uh, Let me know in the comments down below belt and then I have also just tucked the shirt up. The shirt is really like this long, but as you can see, that's a lot more bulky than uh, it have to be. So just by tucking it up under the belt, it gives me a little bit more definition on the front and thereby it makes me my waist seem smaller than it actually is. It's simply just a matter about cheating the eye of the one who's looking at you so make them look on a particular place instead of where you don't want them to look anyway i tucked it up and then it is a silk skirt and this is also a linen blend uh, shirt and then it is a silk skirt so by mixing the different textiles it becomes not as boring as uh, it might sound please like save share and subscribe if you have not done so already follow for more isn't that what they always say <laughs> thank you very much for today i hope that you will have a great day a great week and i hopefully see you again in the next one bye bye bye, bye.